Uh, North Texas has hosted a World Series, the NBA Finals, even a Super Bowl. And now Dallas is pushing to bring back soccer's World Cup. This would be something. Jason Allen live at AT&T Stadium tonight. That stadium, as you know, wasn't around last time the World Cup came to the U.S., Jason. It was not, uh, Kayla. That was back in 1994 when the World Cup was here in the U.S. and here in Dallas. At that time, all the games played over at the Cotton Bowl. This uh, time around, AT&T, part of the pitch to bring the big event back to North Texas. Soccer's biggest event is close to picking a place to kick off in eight years. And Wednesday, Dallas made sure it would be on the list. Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion's carried. That vote cleared the way to negotiate with U.S. soccer and FIFA, the sport's international organization, for Dallas to be a World Cup host city. AT&T Stadium and the Cotton Bowl are both being considered for games. Fair Park and Toyota Stadium in Frisco could host fan events, media centers, or training facilities for international teams. Truly, with the growth of soccer, with the growth of Major League Soccer, with the growth of youth soccer, this will absolutely put Dallas Fort Worth and North America truly, you know, in the global spotlight as ground zero for soccer. Dallas is one of 25 U.S. cities under consideration for games, along with Houston and cities in Canada and Mexico. The North American group won't know if it wins until June, but already sees an advantage over the other bid from Morocco. You don't have the giant expenditure so many countries face when they bring a World Cup or an Olympics or other events like that. The infrastructure is already here. The argument is those stadiums will reduce the cost other countries faced when hosting a World Cup. There's still advertising, transportation, and security to pay for, but balanced by estimates, soccer fans could spend almost $50 million for every game that's played. So all high-level soccer matches, they are played on natural grass fields. So I asked today about how that would work, especially with the artificial turf that's in place at AT&T. Now, they've had soccer games here before, and they have put out natural grass for it. And I learned there is a plan in place to roll out natural sod if, in fact, North America and Dallas should win the bid to bring soccer back. Well, that's night in Arlington. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.